Hello everyone, I'm Kat from the Littlestown Library of the Adams County Library System and welcome to another uh, tiny art for adults and teens. Um, today, in honor of Star Wars Week, we are doing a painting of the Jedi versus the Sith. So that is what we're going to be painting today. Uh, if you signed up for a tiny art kit, then you will receive the following. One blank 4x4 four four canvas, a tiny easel, one paintbrush, and a um, paint pots with the following colors. Uh, black, white, dark red, bright red, light blue, and dark blue. Um, I also recommend that you um, have uh, paper towels or napkins or newspapers, something to lay down so that way you won't get paint everywhere. That will be especially important for this one because we're going to be doing some paint spatter. So make sure that you um, don't have anything nearby that you're worried about getting paint on and put stuff down to prevent it from getting anywhere. Um, I also recommend that you uh, have a glass or a mug, something um, to put water in to clean your brush, um, as well as um, other napkins to clean your brush in between um, colors. And if you have um, a plastic lid that doesn't go to anything or a uh, paper plate or an actual paint palette, um, you can use that to um, mix your colors. So uh, without further ado, let's get painting. Alright, so let's get started on our Jedi versus Sith Star Wars painting. So first we are going to take uh, some of our light blue and we're going to slap some of that right over here. So roughly, you're going to roughly divide your canvas um, into two vertically. So. We're going to have um, blue over on this side and red over on this side. So I'm just slapping some color over here. It doesn't need to be um, doesn't need to be neat. This whole thing is going to be very messy with lots of different colors um, interacting. So have fun with it. Um, you don't have to worry about covering up all of the white. So I've got a bunch of blue there and now I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to get some of the lighter red. So I'm going to put some of that over here. Just shloop, shloop, shloop. And make sure you get the sides if you uh, if you have sides on your canvas. And, and if you want to vary your brush strokes, like if you want to make it so that this side is more jagged kind of looking and this side is more sweeping and flowy to kind of accent the difference between the Jedi and the Sith, you are welcome to do that. Um, you don't have to, it's just, you know, one of those fun things that you can kind of play with where like one side might be more, more flowing and the other side is more um, aggressive, rather like, you know, the Sith and Jedi themselves. Just make sure that you clean your brush in between in between the colors. And now we're going to get some black and we're going to do some 
kind of focus the black parts on um, sections that aren't really color covered in color. Um, so, because since the since the paint is still kind of wet, um, you want to be careful that you're not mixing the black and the red and or the black and the blue too much. You just want to. Um, you know, you kind of want them to meld, but you don't want them to meld too much because that can turn it into kind of a muddy sort of thing. So yeah, you just, just little bits of paint at a time, um, just to kind of, and you can just kind of lightly brush your brush over bits to get them to, uh, to cover the sections that you want. Again, this is all very, just very loose, very messy, just kind of all over the place. And again, we can always, you know, if you don't like how something's looking, you can always um, wait for it to dry and then paint over it again. That is not a problem. Um, the point is just to get all this to sort of meld and mush together like see like a lot of my red has kind of gotten covered up here so i'm probably going to go back and um and lighten that up again and add some red back in um and make sure that you take some black and go across the bottom so that way you have a base right across here So this is where your figures will be standing. So we want that. Alrighty. So yeah, as you can see, there's um, you know, it's very, very all over the place um, right now. So I'm going to get some more red and like put some of that there. you see some sp spots where the red is just a little bit too see where that's kind of getting kind of muddy so that's something where if we want to lighten up some of those areas we'll probably have to um wait for it to dry but i kind of want to indicate a couple areas where i want a little bit more of um the blue or the making that splashes of darker blue 
in here. Often along some edges, some areas where it looks a little muddy. And just often some dark blue up there. some darker darker red wow that doesn't actually look darker But um, oh, that's fun. Yeah, left a little bit of yeah. The problem with using like a paper towel or anything like that is it can leave residue on your painting. So yeah, um. But you see by dabbing it, it's kind of, um, it's sort of uh, made it a little more abstract-y. So we're gonna wait until that dries and I'm going to probably paint over a few of these spots that got um, fuzz stuck in them. I think I've actually got most of it. So, yeah, but I can always paint over that if you have any pieces um, left over or stuck or anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and there's a lot of paint on there. So we're gonna go ahead and just let that dry. And um, once that is dry, then we will um, go back over it again with, um, with stars and um, some more touch-ups. I am going to go ahead and redo the black along the bottom because um, there's no reason why I can't do that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo that because that got a little bit blurred up and you definitely want that to be a little more stark. So we're gonna go ahead and just add a little more black so that way everything can just, you know, um, everything can just dry at the same time. And we won't have to worry about that. Whoops, you keep moving all over the place. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint right over that. There we go. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and let that dry. That'll probably about take about 10, 15 minutes. Um, depending on um, how much paint is on there, and then we will continue. Okay, so now that that is dry, we can actually go in and start doing some touch up on some of these places. And especially down here, because this is where we're going to have the silhouettes of our fighters, you're going to want to make sure that there is um, an area where they will be standing, where they won't be um, 
you know, uh, overrun by, uh, um, where they'll be able to actually be and not, like, blend into the darkness and everything. So, like, I'm creating, um, a larger area down there for my Jedi to stand. I'm also adding some more, um, dark blue spots kind of around the edges of some of the other blue areas you know just kind of melding things together and trying to make it look more uh more galaxy like you know kind of like we're standing in a in a in a backdrop that is um you know made of stars uh, and and uh, nebula clouds and, and things like that. Um, so that's what we're doing here and a couple other places. some more of the light blue and adding that a couple places just to make it stand out a little more. Yeah, we're just kind of lightly going with our brush and just sort of kind of making it a little, little misty, a little, again, more nebula-esque. And again, you can make this look however you want. If you don't really want to use the dark blue, if you want to use less of that or not use any at all, um, or mix it with the lighter blue so that way it um, uh, it doesn't stand out quite as much. Like, that's up to you. You can, you can do whatever you want. I'm kind of just playing with it to kind of get a feel for how the how it works. I'm just making sure that this area right there where my little figure is going to stand is doesn't have any of the dark blue in it and doesn't have any black in it. So that way, um, that way, uh, my little silhouette will, will stand out. So yeah. So again, you can just, you can do whatever, whatever you think uh, will, uh, will make this work for you, whatever, however you, you want it to look. So, a little, more, a little more light encroaching into the darkness. Okay, so I think I kind of like how my blue is turning out, so now I'm going to turn my attention to my red. red going so like with this side I want my light red to form the space roughly equal in size
and if you end up needing to to break anything up if you need to add a little more black in some spaces because you think there's a little too much you know in one spot you can do that as well just be um just be very light with it because you don't want to um don't want to overload again we're supposed to be kind of nebula ish so like i'm adding a little bit of black in here to kind of break that up a bit So you can add some some pockets of of dark here and there in between things to kind of make some of these pop a little more. Just can go go easy with it. place to put some some dark is like right down here in the in the middle separating the the dark side from the light seeing how they kind of how they clash That just causes a an even greater contrast between the different between the different colors and their different spaces. I'm just trying not to have too many like sharp lines or anything because you want this to be, you know, kind of kind of dark there. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and let that dry again and then we will do um, one more layer like down here to make sure this is nice and sharp for our um, little figures um, I think I am going to take a napkin make sure it's a napkin and not like a, um, a tissue like I did last time because that was not cool that didn't work out very well and left residue so you see I did it did that there and then kind of getting some of the some of the excess paint off and just kind of pressing it in. So whoops, sorry you got a lot of glare there, but there we go. So we've got a nice Yeah, that's looking that's looking pretty cool, like I, I like that. It's very, it's almost organic. Like it's almost organic. I kind of, I really, I really like how that's kind of, how that's kind of turning out there. So yeah, we're, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and um, let that dry and then we will be back. Um, and then we'll be back in with a final, 
um, layer down here to make our figures really pop. And then we will be going on to them um, and some final, um, some final details. Okay. Um, you know what? This actually might be the best time before we let it dry. We're going to go ahead and add the stars, the star field. So what we're going to do is we are going to make sure our brush is nice and clean. Get clean water if you have to. And then we're going to get some white paint on our brush. And we are going to, oh, we are not going to do that. <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah, okay. Well, I guess I'll just do a couple little stars around here. I was supposed to um, just uh, um, uh, flick the brush and, and make stars happen. And um, yeah, as you, as you can see, that, that did not happen. And that, that's a bit of a boo-boo, but that's okay. Cause I, I needed some larger stars here and there anyway. So I'm just gonna take some of the excess paint and just do a couple like that. And then we're gonna try again. This time we're gonna get our brush a little more wet and mix it in with the white and hopefully that will make it more, uh, making it more liquidy and making it easier to flick. If you need to lay it flat, lay your canvas flat, that can be helpful. So yeah, let me, um, There we go. That's that's much 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 better. There we go. Okay. And I'll just have to fix I'll just need to fix that in the in the middle there. So because yeah, that didn't that didn't work out so well. There we go. A little bit of water, a little bit of yeah, that's that's more like it. Okay. And remembering to do a couple stars along the side. Alrighty, and again, any big splatters that I don't like on there, that's easily fixed. Not a problem. Um we can take care of that. So, yeah, so go ahead, let that, um, see if I can fix, can I fix you right here? Yeah, I can fix you. I can fix you. You're not that bad. I can let you get covered up and dry. Her up again, getting this bottom. No, no stars on the ground there. So yeah, I can easily cover some of that up. Get a little bit of the. light blue here. Yeah. There we go. See, that's not a big deal. Like I said, any, any so-called mistakes are usually, they're really easy to fix. It's not a big deal, you know. Yeah, it might look like initially you're gonna be like, oh no, I ruined it. But no, you you didn't you didn't ruin it. I didn't ruin my thing. You haven't ruined yours. It's it's all okay. I promise. It's yeah. So all right, we're so we're gonna go ahead and let that dry, and then we will go ahead finally and um, repaint over these sections to make sure they're nice and stark, and then get our 
um, little figures going. So um, make sure you give that a good 10-15 um, minutes to dry and then we will return. Alrighty, so now that that has finally dried, we can move on to repainting this one more time, covering up any stars that are in this section because we don't want any stars in this particular section. We want them all covered up. And let's see if you want to do
So, now that those have been painted, we are almost ready for the final bit with our little people. So make sure you let that dry completely before um, moving on to the next bit. You wanna make sure that it is um, totally dry so that way we don't smudge anything. So um, depending on how much paint you used about, um, I mean, it's okay like if the stuff up here is still wet when we work on down here, that won't matter. But um, we will need to make sure that this is completely dry before, um, before we continue. So um, go ahead and let those dry in about 10 minutes and then we should be ready for the next step. Alrighty, so now it is time for the fine detail work. <laughs> um, if you have uh, smaller brushes, this can be a lot easier if you use the, those, like the detail brushes. Um, we're going to do the best we can with what we've got. If there are silhouettes that you prefer that you would rather like cut out and use, you can do that as well. Um, but we're just gonna, um, I'm just gonna kind of take the plunge here. And <laughs> fortunately, since a lot of like Jedi and Sith wear like robes and stuff, it's not like too, like it's not too horrible to try to um, draw them. So you can kind of just do um, a very simple look, like you don't have to do anyone in particular or anything. It's just, um, just kind of, uh, you know, kind of doing a basic, very basic shape, um, of them standing here, uh, with their lightsabers. saber itself we're gonna do a line of red I know this is a little bit I'm basically just getting paint on the very tip of my brush And then just pressing it. I know it kind of looks like he's got like fire hands or something, but it's supposed to be a lightsaber, I promise. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so I guess the saber needs to be a little bit longer. There we go. That looks looks better. Okay. And now we're going to do our Jedi. And 
you don't have to make them the way I'm doing it. Um, I'm actually going to be trying to make a specific Jedi here. Oh, I don't know how well it's going to turn out because I don't have detail brushes. I keep wetting my brush and making and wiping it in the in the napkin so that way I can uh, Kudos to any of you who might have figured out who I am. If any of you have figured out who I'm painting, gonna get even harder because lightsabers do have like a core of white in them like in the middle of the of all the light and everything so I'm going to try to give that center.
Alrighty, so... Hmm. It's a little hard to tell, but you know what? It's... It's not bad. Like, I, I can work with this. And again, if you guys want to use, like, stencils or something, then, you know, feel free, because I fully admit that this is very difficult to do. Um. So, yeah. Um. Still trying to, really loading on the paint here. In some of these spots, trying to get it to work. It's not bad. No, I, I think we'll let that dry, and then um, if there's any other uh, touch-ups that we want to do, we can do that. Um, again, not not perfect, but it's it's okay. Like it again. This is we're seeing stuff from very far away, and that can you know make it difficult to see what's going on. There's all the swirling and stuff like that. So. Yeah, so let's see. Um, I know I keep messing with it. I keep telling myself I'm gonna stop and then I keep messing with it, so yeah. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let this dry. I promise, I'm gonna let it dry now. <laughs> I'm gonna let it dry and then we will um, take one final look and see if there's anything else we want to um, do with it and uh, if there's any other touch-ups we wanna do and then we will be done. So this next, uh, next bit will be the last bit that we do for it, okay? So I think we are just about just about done here. Just a little bit more. This will darken as it as it dries, but I just kind of want a little more. A little more glow in there. Cool 
so we'll, we'll forgive them this time. basically done um again like again these these designs i just did on my own like i didn't use any particular um thing again um this is kind of supposed to be ahsoka versus darth maul um from season seven of the clone wars if any of you are familiar with that that's what i was kind of aiming for with this didn't turn out quite exactly, but again, that's because we're working with very small figures and not exactly the most detail-oriented brush. We're working with multi-purpose, so that's what I was going for. If if Ahsoka didn't quite turn out like you know the quite as distinct as I would have hoped, that's just the nature of this particular. Um, that's just the nature of this particular painting. That's just how it has to be because I don't have um, the detailed brush to, to do that, to probably do it that as much justice as I would like. So, um, but you are under no obligation to do that if you want to just do, like if you just wanted to have like this filled in or have them both be kind of like triangles, you know, shapes with arms and like they can have one lightsaber, two lightsabers, you know, one has one lightsaber, the other has two, or they both have one. Like however you want to do that, you can, you can do this shape however you would like like you can do this however you want um this is just what i kind of picked as i sort of tried to make it ahsoka versus like darth maul um you know with it with this um it could have been ahsoka versus darth vader you know or um qui-gon jinn versus darth maul or obi-wan versus vader or whatever like you can have or it could be someone from the extended universe um you know or the video games or wherever so you can do whatever design you'd like um just try to keep it as simple and blocky as possible because as you can see like it it kind of it looks a little odd sometimes when you're trying to do fine detail work with brushes that are not meant for detail but still hopefully this looked at kind of cool that it turned out um kind of neat for you um i know i i definitely enjoyed doing this um star wars is like my favorite fandom ever um, my favorite universe ever so i hope that you enjoyed um going on this artistic journey um with me to, to a canvas not so far away so thank you all for joining us for uh this tiny art for adults and teens